So I'm here looking at the famous uh, 1854 London cholera epidemic map made by John Snow and uh, kind of colloquially called um, the uh, ghost map. And uh, in the previous video, uh, you can find a link in the description, um, I went ahead and brought all this uh, information from the um, from the map and brought it into GIS and so here I have uh, a layer for deaths and this is the deaths from the cholera outbreaks and in the uh, attribute table of course there's going to be a count for the number of deaths at each one of these red dots that you see here those red dots correspond to those uh, famous black lines that he has uh, there wherever he tallied up the amounts of deaths that took place at a particular uh, address and then here I have the pumps in the uh, triangles and he used uh, spatial analysis or just basically you know reason uh, and visualization to decide that the pumps the Broad Street pump was the pump that was having the contaminated water that was leading to the cholera outbreak and so now that I've prepared the base map data I want to use different types of analysis to come to the same conclusion that he came with and that the Broad Street pump was the source of the cholera outbreak. And so the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to look through um, tabular data. And so if I look here at the, um, the deaths that I have in my attribute table, I have a count here of all the deaths that take place. And then I also have here um, what street each one of these uh, death addresses are on. And sometimes these streets repeat, you can see here. And so um, what I want to do is do a tabular analysis um, that will uh, summarize what uh, streets were, were the streets that the debt took place on. And so <clears throat> in order to do that, I want to right click on the streets column. And under the, the contextual menu that comes up there, there's the uh, summarize uh, option. So when I choose summarize, that's going to give me a wizard here where I can summarize streets and I can choose another field to summar summarize it by. And so what I want to look at is the count field because again that's the field that has our death uh, numbers. And so if I go to count field and I want to take a sum, in this case I want to sum because I want to sum up every single one of the deaths. But there's other statistics here that could be used in different reporting methods. And then I'm going to want to output that um, table into and I went on to my geo database and so I'm going to call this uh, deaths um, by street and uh, remember whenever you make any kind of output you want to give it a descriptive name something that you're going to be able to look at later and understand and so when I hit OK here that's going to do the work um, ask me if I want to add that table to my map and I say OK um, and you can see here now I have deaths by street hanging out here as a table. Uh, when I open that up, you can see here the different streets, names, and then the uh, the count. Um, and then this is the sum of counts. So this is the amount of addresses on that street that had deaths take place. And then that's the sum of the attribute of count. It, you know, throughout all the streets is the total number of deaths at the last column. And so if I go through here, <clears throat> if I click on the sum count and I sort it, Descending, I can see which street had the most deaths, and that's going to be Broad Street. The so that already looks just doing that, saying most most deaths took place on Broad Street already helps in determining um, there's at least some kind of a proximity correlation. Whenever I start looking at the other streets, the ones in the second place and third place, Marshall Street over here shows up as third place and then Barwick Street which is here let me just pan over it's uh, Beerwick Street sorry Beerwick Street over here so basically Broad Street and the adjoining two streets next to it makes up the majority of the deaths that take place and so you can go ahead and see that through the tabular analysis we can figure out um, that Broad Street Pump is one of the places that we should be thinking about